The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this Monday, the 24th of January. Just about to wrap up the month. Dow's down 671 at 32,594. One of the reasons why I've been discussing this for so long, saying that the QQQ NDX 100, that kind of sell-off invariably rubs off on anything that's even good. And the Dow, which was leading for a while, hit an all-time high on the 5th of January. At 36,952, he's trading some 3,000 points low at 33,616 right now, down 656. Most importantly, if you look at the weekly chart, there's absolutely a peak E sell mode in the weekly chart, not an alternate count E slash C. Let me get rid of that right now. doesn't matter even if we turn around today with the VIX index the way it is. Um, that's still a peak E. You can take it out, but that's not the point. The point is that we are looking at the kind of sell-off that has, you remember I always talk about this, I spent a little time on uh, Friday. Let me just do this here. Uh, this is the Chapman Wave. Let me just go to it right now. I-N-D-U. This is where we talk about the dark news cloud cover. Uh, look how many times we've had that rectangle formation, sometimes short, sometimes long, but we always get the same patterns. This is the first time since the low that was made back in June, around about the week of the 19th, 18th of June, 33,271. Uh, this is the first time this slightly rising Chapman Wave inside track ch mini channel up channel line has been pierced just took it right out i showed this to subscribers in my overview uh, on uh, saturday for my weekly overview session showing all the different patterns so the dark news cloud cover has as mentioned in the den sharky says basil markets question mark can stay oversold for a bit if they want what is the news out there that will give support for the markets? We've got the Fed, we've got the Russia issue, we've got China, he says China nonsense. Uh, what the heck? So all I can say is markets become oversold and they get representative in in that, um, that market hysteria condition by the VIX index. VIX index is made up, oh, I went to the wrong chart right here. VIX index is made up of uh, the futures in the New York Stock Exchange. So it's somewhat complicated, but it really is a fear gauge. And what it's saying right now, we're above the high that was made December the 3rd at 35.52. Remember, that was the, I think it was on Monday, December the 3rd. Oh, I don't have the calendar. Um, yeah, and what we're looking at here is that that high, which had corresponded to December the 1st in the market, we've taken that out. And the Dow just had another big slide to the downside, 463. Down, and the S&P's down 115. And we, now, I have this as a leg C in the chat wave. It is rare, absolutely rare, to go to Ds. I use this only as I put the notation, because I always put notation in for any moving uh, market. Uh, but most importantly, you could get a failure if you had to see in the daily, uh, leg E in the weekly chart, leg C in the monthly. Look at that peak C failure from 85.37 at the March 23rd low of last of 2020, uh, where we actually went long at the diamonds uh, via the options. And then we, we switched over to keep the options for a while longer and went to the diamonds DIA. And we still have that core position, but we've had some other trading positions in between, long, short, long, short. Right now, we're still short. We took just a tad off this morning when the diamonds, the DIA, went above the December the 5th. Uh, wait, 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 what did I say? Oh, diamonds. Uh, not DIA, the diamonds, DOG. 
That's what we have. DOG is the one-to-one -one short the diamonds. Um, so in position 31.66 on the 11th of uh, January. And then when I said, when I said we were here, so we were 33.50, I said, if we go uh, to the high of December the 1st, which was at 33.96, take a little bit off, and we've done that. And here we are, 34.32. So that's the reason why I said the Dow um, had held better, but we're still going short at that particular point. Now what we're looking at is the S&P. Look at this. S&P went below the 200-period moving average that it was sitting on. Now how important is the 200-period moving average? You want to know how important it is? Look at this. Let me just show you. Give, give it the squeeze. Squeeze once, squeeze twice, squeeze three times, squeeze four times, squeeze five times, squeeze six times. There are six times, and it takes you down to the 200-period exponential moving average with a low of 32. Now, let me just give it you exactly rather than guessing. Right there. On the 28th of September, 33, 32.91. And uh, I think it even went lower. Yes, it did. It went to 30. I don't want to mess this up. Be careful. 32.98. I think I'm moving it around. There it is. 32.09.45. That was correct. Right there. 32.09.45. Uh, late September of 2020. And now look what we've done. We, we've run up to the 35.49 area. In October, November, you come down to a low of 32.93, a higher low, and then it starts a beautiful run. And that's the last time that we were even close to the Georgia period moving out. We did get fairly close back in October, the 1st and 4th in that area in the 40, uh, 42.88 area. Uh, what was the low? I think this is the low. Am I correct? 42.78. And then it ran very sharply, of course, to an all-time high. And now we're looking at, let me open this up again, how important is the 200 period moving average? First time we've been below it since, I wonder if I can keep squeezing, yep. So, oh boy, since we fractionally went under it back in June of 2020, but basically, uh, yeah, there were, there were three tests in the whole June area, below the 200 period moving average after going above at 32.33, and now this is really important because it's saying that that moving average, 200 period moving average, at uh, 4,400, and we're at 4,288, uh, could become a resistance level and a support. We could start a bounce around that. We could, in fact, have a pretty decent reversal in the next couple of days, especially with the Fed coming up with their um, acknowledgement of what's going on in the market and probably saying something to the effect, just leaning to the effect of um, the, there could be an economic slowdown. We don't want to aggravate an economic slowdown. We also want to look at this as what should the Fed do? What, what did the Fed state that it was its aim? And how are we going to ameliorate the negativity with what we think it could be the positivity. So I think there'll be enough in the, in the Fed statement to say, hmm, well, maybe, uh, maybe enough to, to have a, a, a decent bounce, but then come back and do a retest. So what are we looking at? The S&P's down 107 at 4280, and the QQQ, that's down 2.43, the QQQ's down two. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. We've discussed, you know, what we're going to need here for a reversal today. I said on Friday that if the market actually closed down quite sharply and it was rallying and it actually ran up huge, it ran up, uh, what was uh, oh, I can't remember now what it ran. It ran up very sharply. And uh, then we closed down very sharply. And what I'd say is if we closed down very sharply, between Sunday night, if the Sunday night futures were down sharply, we could see a Monday turnaround later in the day. But actually what happened is we usurped some of that uh, potential strength by seeing the futures. And I had a chapter wave trend gauge reading which said there should be at least a 9 to 11 point rally in the futures within two days. Well, we got that Sunday night. It ran up really sharply. Uh, the futures were up over 30 and the S&P over 30 points. Dow was up over 200 points. And then what happened is I wake up this morning and I see it about six o'clock. We've reversed. We've down. We're down uh, almost 30 points in the s &P. Then there was a rally. And now there's another sharp sell off. So we're getting to the point where it is becoming extremely emotionally oversold. And every time that you see a rally like this and then it fails and it has this. this. One of the things I, I look for when we're getting close to some climactic reversal is that the percentage loss in key indices, key stocks in the last couple of days. Now, you remember, I always talk about the, the left side, right side price, the arch formation. You can go up in a certain number of bars, and then you can come down in a certain number of bars. And funnily enough, you can get right to that left side low, but going to that low, you'll see an acceleration in, in the size of the red candles. When it takes it out, the left side low, then you start to see big percentages. So the percentage loss on, say, let me just go to this. Uh, I'm coming back in a moment to the QQQ. In something like, look, shop, shop, Shopify. Look at today's loss, 7% today, huge percent uh, um, on Friday, Thursday. And it's already down from the 1762.92 all-time high, all high from late November. And it's trading at 817, over 50% decline. Um, all I can, <laughs> excuse me, all I can say is that that acceleration into the low says that let's just say on Friday you thought, oh, even if it goes down a little more, I'm close to the low. 
let's face it, from 1,000 and say 60 down to 820, <clears throat> look what has to happen now. Now you have to have a reversal that has so much power to the upside in the V-shaped pattern that within days you want to get back just to get back to even a 1060. You've got almost 200 points to, to rally on an $800 stock. That you know, 25, 28%, you're asking a lot. So all I can say, this is where you've got to be the most careful. And probably this is where options come in the best of all. In the dance, someone said, um, I, I'm looking at adding uh, the 345 call on the QQQ. Uh, so the QQQ at 341 right now, it's down 10 points to get back your money. It's better to have a very small position with a chance of having a really significant pullback. But what if it goes down to 335? 335 before it has that big turnaround. Um, that's the reason why options are sometimes best. You, you've, got a, you've got an exact number of uh, um, dollars that you've put to work, and you can know you're throwing that away, or there could be a huge upside move. It's, it's a lottery ticket, and that's the better way to play it, rather than, say, buying the QQQ right now at 341, saying, gee, by the end of the day, we could be up to 348. Um, what if you're down at 338? 328. Yeah, this is a dangerous phase. This is the phase where we're close to getting some kind of reversal, but the points lost or made, it's really critical that you use a very high um, level of discipline. Okay, now let's go to the IWM. IWM, the Russell 2000, down sharply, down 2.20%, down 432 at 192.62. And uh, in a leg, G slash B to the bottom. And we're looking at it in the rectangle formation. Look how far away we've gone from the middle point of 222. We're now at 192, 30 points lower. It's about 16, 17%. These are big numbers. I'm just saying, yes, I think every one of us is looking at this and saying, this is a really good day to have some kind of a sharp reversal to the upside. Maybe one day early, because I really think the Fed... I don't think they want to add uh, any fuel to the fire right now. I'm talking about fuel. Look at look at um, crude oil. Crude oil is now down 2.31 at 82.84. And I called that at 87.10. I said, I'm calling it at least for now leg F, then a peak F. And even though we had MRO, which is marathon oil, I said, everything about this peak C looks like it's a D. We're raising our stops and we, we've now got out of our position um, one really good gain, one okay gain. I, I, I don't want to play games. And you know, when I was looking at CVX, CVX, the other day, I said this is also a peak C. I, I don't, I don't have room yet to go to an alternate count. Uh, maybe I do. Um, hundred and nineteen point twenty six, hundred and. 19.34. Nope, that has to be an A, that has to be a B, and that has to be a C. You could get to a D, but I'm not playing games. Profit is a profit. You just got to be really careful. Now, uh, because crude oil is pulling back, this is often what a coincidence in the den. I was just asked about that. I was asked about uh, NG. In fact, NG was one of those that I said today, there's a chance that it starts to move higher. This is natural gas, natural gas trading at 3.973 down 0 0.02 but I looked at the chart closely over the weekend and I said you know this sharp move down it should never have happened I don't know why there was a sharp move up in the first place that big candle of the 12th of January but wait a minute if you're looking at gold didn't it also have this huge move up was that the 12th of January that was uh why is it not showing? Oh, busy, busy. Yeah, on the 19th, you had the same thing in um, gold on the 19th. And that's the reason why I'm saying that these single legs to the upside, you've got to have follow through. So let me just go back to the question now. Before I do that, I just wanted to go, I, I'm looking at this and saying, I got a feeling today we're going to see the attempts at reversals. Um, so, yes, we've got a real nice reversal. The low of the day so far is at 4263, and we're trading at 4296, three points higher. And I think there's going to be an attempt here. Maybe it's still early in the day. Um, 
normally this type of thing, this reversal is best when it's after a horrible Friday and anticipation Monday that there could be a rally, but oh my God, it failed even worse. And then people just throw in the towel and it's kind of later in the day that you actually get the successful turnaround. Otherwise it's abbreviated and it usurps some of that upside energy. It uses some of the, the, the negativity as well. So I prefer to have just a complete sell, up, sell out. Maybe we get a, yet another uh, a, a sharp slide. Doesn't even have to be to the low of the day. But from the rally that we we're having, there's a deep slide and just scares the day now. It's having even the people that thought, this is a good time to start going along. And then we get a turnaround into Tuesday and Wednesday when the Fed has its Fed speak. We'll see what happens, but we're getting close in emotion and in the volatility index. So I'll be back to the UNG in a moment. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading market and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. All right, so I, I've got a flood of questions coming in. And, and let me just do this. So gold, just to say gold is down now, dollar. So gold is not the place that people are running to or let's say governments are running to right now as a safety haven. Um, I, I, let me finish the natural gas and just say natural gas is up uh, from its low today, but it's still down. I, I'm just going to say I'm not sure that this is working right now. This is the season that you should start to see it moving. I didn't like that sudden spike over the 200 period moving average and then just about as sharply to the downside. All I'm saying is 
Yes, keep natural gas. If you're looking at the UNG trade, that's United States Natural Gas Fund, trading at uh, 13.40, probably you give up some, but I'd rather see uh, push into the 13. 68, 1373 level, just to know that it's not going to want to retest 1300 right at this moment. Uh, that's the better way to look at it. But something's not right with this chart. So let's just get that out of the way. Crude oil, I am calling this a peak F. It could it could have recycled with the chapter wave instant restart. Doesn't matter. I said, I, I just love these left side, right side, double top formations. Doesn't matter how long or how short. The double tops are just incredible. 85. 65 was lying in October of 2018, plummets to $7.61. Uh, April of 2020 runs all the way to this 87.10 level three days ago. And now it's, it's just, it's bumping into resistance. That's number one. I mean, I just, I wrote this down uh, over yesterday and today. Just look at this double tops. You've got Alcoa uh, down 74 cents right now. It goes to 64.37 on the 8th, I think, what was that? Uh, right there. Uh, on the, gee, this is something going on here. That a lot of people are doing buying and selling in the market. I'm not, on the 12th of January, pulls back to the 58 level, and then it has a test of the high at 64.25, five, six sessions later. And then it starts a, way, a move to the downside. Look, Builder, you remember we were talking about this, this uh, stock, unbelievable stock called Builder's First Source, Inc. Um, what does it do? It goes to uh, an all-time high of 86.48. And two days later, it retests is where? 86.45, three cents away. I mean, how many times? Look at BLD, also in the building area. BLD, BLD is... Top build corporation installed distribution insulation, building materials, goes to a high back in the 22nd of November of 284.01, plummets down to 250, 249 actually, and runs back to 284.07 for another PD high at, on the 28th of December. Leg E in the weekly chart, and then as a tumble and it's trading right now at 227, 50, I mean, 50 points. Uh, lower. So what I'm saying is that this is the patterns have been repeated over and over. We've seen that I had said keep the VIX index separate from the the, the VIX C separate from bondy bonds separate from um, uh, goldy that's gold and separate from dolly the dollar. They all are doing their own little thing. It's the market that we've got to look at, and we've got to look at these double tops in different areas. Now what we're looking at is within the slide to the bottom, we're absolutely, um, certainly, I, and I haven't discussed I, the XLK. I want you to do the XLK. The XLK broke under the 200-period moving average of 154. This is the S&P Select Spider Fund. Went to a low this morning of 149.54, trying to rebound a little bit. But look at that doji, beautiful doji candle in the weekly chart, peak G at 177.04 peak D in the uh, daily. I was asked about, uh, back in January, I was asked about, do I still talk about the Mar Groucho Marx V-shaped patterns? Uh, yes, I absolutely do, absolutely do. But I wanted to give get a little more respect for my techniques without giving them nicknames. So I call them the double top for motion just for a little bit, just... You know, it's kind of nice to have your patterns that you've spent your lifetime, your adult life, uh, um, studying and, and writing about. So in this particular instance, yep, those those Groucho Marx eyebrows, the V-shaped pattern, they're still in existence. Uh, a couple of things now. I also, yeah, let me just show you this. CT, I was asked about cotton over the weekend. I, I thought they were asking about cotton, to trade cotton, where would they go? He's an overseas person wanting to use a, a broker here, or maybe the American, I, I'm not sure. But I, I said, uh, I'm just, I'm getting a topping uh, aspect at a peak D in cotton. Uh, it's trading at 120.77, down uh, up two cents, but it made a high, <clears throat> a double top high of one. This is the continuous contract, 124.78. And then 124.78 the following day. Oops. Yes. 
double top at exactly the same price. So it says it could pull back. It could retest that high because the technicals are still not breaking down. But I just said it's kind of a little toppy. I thought the person wanted to go long. I'd be a little careful about going long cotton right now. But they, they only want to know which broker. Well, I think Trade Station does. If I've never done trade, a, a cotton futures or anything. So I... I do the futures, but not the cotton futures. So I think most brokerage companies would be able to handle that very well, whatever they were doing. So that's there. Now, I want you to do this. Look, that's wheat. This is uh, wheat is continuous wheat contract. It's down at the lower end. It's come off the 200 period moving average. That's how important these 200 period moving averages are. It's come off it. It's had a nice bit of a rally, but it's still at the lower end. On the other side of it, soybeans at the upper end in the daily and the weekly chart is still in the middle of a big rectangle formation. So at 14.02, you really want to see it trading at 14.45 or higher. This is a continuous contract. So it's getting a little top here. And corn, corn is trading very nicely. It's up one at 617. It's broken out of the smaller rectangle. It's going for the bigger rectangle, which has a high way back in July of last year of 629, uh, 6 on the continuous contract and trading right now at 617. I think it will make a leg C in the monthly chart above that level. So we've got a, a lot of conflicting things. Now let's go back. Oh, I almost hit the buy button, but I said during the show, just be a little careful. Um, right there, the 642 uh, 82 level when we flipped over to green. Um, now it's at 63.08. Yeah. Um, actually, if there's a slow grind to the upside and then it accelerates into the close, I would consider once again, that's one of those aftershocks. We haven't made the low yet, but we are getting really close to a very tradable low. And I, I suspect that that's important. So a bunch of questions came in. Um, and NVIDIA, I think, as Paul says, I think when it's over, this stock will be a study in business schools. Let's just look at first the SMHs. Oh, I didn't mean to put it there. The SMHs right here. The SMH is the SMH is Semiconductor Index. Um, it's gone all the way down from the 318 double top. How many times have we seen this is a Groucho Marx eyebrow double top in the weekly? And then it plummets down to today's low of 261. I would say that if a sector has that kind of a, a decline, you've got to think that there's some structural damage, at least in the short term, maybe not long term, but in the short term. So we'll look at NVIDIA, question about NVIDIA. NVIDIA went to under the 200 period moving average is down at 221 is down 12 346 was the all time high I would say 346 to 212 you've been cut by a third uh, not not fun and this is one of the one of the great companies in the semiconductor business but that weekly chart is suggesting this is a lot more serious I want you to look at NVIDIA, NVIDIA, NVIDIA. I want to look at MRVL Marvell uh, Marvell is trading I count two and a half. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi folks, so I was asked if I would look at RPLX in the uh, in the break, uh, Tiger Officer, and it's in a leg E to the downside. Um, it goes from 141.60 back in uh, late November, and now it's trading more than half. It's at 63.36. That's about a 60 or 54 percent decline. Went to the Eiffel Tower, peaked in the, in the weekly chart. And, well, it's a leg B in the monthly, but it was an IPO, so the, you can't really count that. So this is really important because, look, uh, Roblox, Roblox is, um, it was, I mean, when you hear people talk about this, this together with Unity, uh, Unity trading down seven points at 99.86, 210 round number high back in the uh, 18th of November. Gaming creating. So all of these in the gaming area. And you would think, I mean, especially in this particular environment right now, that the gaming would be just really doing fantastically. But no, they're not. And that's why this is a very broad market sell-off. You've got to respect that. So um, it's now under the 200-period moving average. So just to go to Roblox for one more, one more moment. Um, 87 is the 200-period moving average and is at 63. It's 24 points below. Is it about to form a V-shaped pattern? If it's a V-shape, it has to be an incredible V-shaped pattern at 1.9%. In the stochastic, now it's gone to two. Now it's 1.98. It's changing as we talk. Um, that is so oversold. It should have at least a bounce to 5% and maybe even 10%. And then it should do some retesting. So I'm just saying to you, don't get too carried away thinking these things can't go down. Look, from $80 on Thursday to 62.53 low today, I would say 20, 20 points in just three days? Please be careful. Now, as far as the upside is concerned, let's go. You remember semiconductors, I always use this as a benchmark. So um, we were looking at MRVL, Marvell. Uh, Marvell, great company, 93.85 high on the 8th of December, trading now on the left side. 69.30 was the left side low back, I think, about the 1st of December. Today's low 69.08. Talk about double tops. Well, these are the, this is what you want to look for the, for the bottom. But is this the bottom? Hard to say, but it has all the ingredients to say it's held up a little better than some that have just broken sharply below the 200 period moving averages. Um, if it has a bounce, it has to bounce sharply from 69 to Friday's high in the 76 area. I mean, that's seven points. It's 11% uh, bounce. It can do that. But I'm just saying, even if they bounce, even if you're using options, think of it more as a bounce rather than this is the big turn in the semis because uh, it's just, uh, how do I go alphabetically? 
Well, let's just go to Apple because Apple, of course, uses semis, but it, it's kind of a benchmark as well for how they used and where they used. So 182.94 all-time high just a few weeks ago. Now at 158, held up much better than many of the others, but it's in a sell mode in the daily, sell signal in the uh, in the weekly with a really strong chance that, that was a PG high. And now we're going to watch it real closely. Um, AMD, uh, AMD is trading below the 200 period moving average at 112 from 164 all time high this is you know this is it's almost got a one to look an a to b equals c to d an extension um probably even looks a little like a godly pattern uh so just be careful that's all i'm saying um down six at 112.75 you want to see this by wednesday afternoon to thursday it has to have tackled at least attempted to tackle the high of Friday, which is 125.02. If it does that, that is nice because that's a V-shaped pattern that you're looking for. I had a whole bunch that I want to look at. Oh, in the den, no, in the tiger, AVGO. Yep, AVGO, Vagio, uh, trading at. This is the old Broadcom. It made a peak F, uh, all-time high. Not all-time. That was the most recent high, right there, at about 678-ish. I think that was an F. Um, and now it's trading at 527, right on the 200 period moving average. Uh, having dropped this far, says, yep, it could bounce again, but watch out that 525 area is uh, like a magnet now, especially with the weekly in a sell mode. So just be real careful. This is Broadcom. Anyway, I don't want to go through them all. You, can, you get the message here. IYT, question about the IYT. Um, surely... <clears throat> The strength in United Parcel and Federal Express um, and the rails, the CSXs. What was the question? I, I just, I'm remembering it by memory here. Um, should help the, um, the, the the transports. Well, look at this. The, the um, 287.40 was the all-time high back in May of uh, this this of last year. And what does it do? It drops all the way to the 240s and then screams back up to where? 281.45, and then as if it's not good enough that it's almost double top there, it goes to 280.87 uh, on the about the 21st or so of December. I mean, that's amazing. Triple top at almost the exact same price, and now it's down. So just you've got to be careful here. I mean, anticipating is one thing. Putting your hard-earned money to work, do it selectively. Do it, be very careful. Uh, QCOM might be a good one to buy at some point. Um, yes, I, I think that's a great company, but let's just be patient and see what everything. I don't want to get too carried away looking at buys, looking at buys, because in fact, just it's we've only just turned down sharply for the uh, sells. There are a lot of stocks that only now are turning down. So maybe we need more room and more time. Um, that volatility index. It's just saying to me, how much time do you want? Are you kidding? We hit 37.95 today. We're now trading at 34.72, down two points from that high. Well, that's a start. We made a new recovery high. Is this going to be an alternate? Yeah, this could be an alternate count, E slash C. This is chapter wave notation, which I, the only time I ever say kind of ignore it is when we're doing the uh, notation in the, what happened there? In the VIX, the VIX is the only one that has its own always because it's an emo it's emotional response. It's not just a purely technical response. Emotional responses can surge and diminish very quickly. Um, so what I am looking at here, let's see, I wanted to go back here to uh, the questions in. I did that. Oh, uh, yeah, there are a couple of stocks um, for subscribers. I mentioned this morning that they're holding very well. It turns out that all three of the ones that I mentioned are, in fact, holding. In fact, one is up on a day like this. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for the sexiest stocks that just plummeted and they were on everybody's buy list. We'll get to those. You know that I've got a list of those. And that again, those I'm including, the signs. You remember what I said about the last few days of a major sell-off? The percentage decline is huge. Look at this. Um, sign just a couple of days ago is a 126. Here it is with a low today of 109. I would say that's big percentages, and we haven't, we don't know if we've made a low. It is trough D, 
but you've got to be careful. So I, I might avoid some of these and go for ones that might not have the biggest kickoff as we turn around. Talk about kickoff. Folks, market kickoff, Tommy O'Brien, uh, at 9 o'clock every morning. Please get it. Take it. If you haven't had a chance to listen, listen to Fabulous Show. Put them vegetables together with Fundy's Fabulous Show. I'll be back in a moment. Dow's down uh, 585. Hope you're right. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. So let me just show you something. This is what I'm talking about. Look, Microsoft, four sessions ago, was trading in the 313 area. Great company, getting close to the 200-period uh, period moving average. And then all of a sudden... In three days, it goes from 313 to today's low so far of 284. That's a 10%. Boom, just like that. That is, that's, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So you've got to be careful. I do believe we're really close to some kind of a reversal. The big difference is, is it going to be a major reversal that really screams into the options expiration on Friday, regardless of what the Fed does? Or is it going to be a process? And if it's a process, you've got to be careful because every time you think, just too many people thinking here that we've got the low in place, getting the low in place, and the market tends to fool. Some of you know very well that uh, sometimes in these V-shaped patterns, as everybody's getting out, they're getting out here, and sometimes the chart, I'm not talking about Microsoft, I'm show showing you the chart. And as they're getting out, within three days, the price is way above way above the exit level. 
and then they feel so stupid and they don't get back in, they don't get out, they don't, they don't know what to do. And that's what markets tend to do. They tend to do so viciously that when the core of the, the plethora of participants are moving on the Titanic one way, thinking it's all over, the lifeboats suddenly on the other side just suddenly kick in and everybody's okay on that side. So just, just be real careful. So I showed you the I, IYT. Now let me glance because I don't want to forget anything that I'd written all about. Oh, a whole bunch of things I'd written about. I want you to do. So this is what I'm looking at. In within the jets, within the uh, U.S. airline industry, let's keep an eye on that because if you're going to get the public coming back and things turning back to normal, this is probably an area you want to be looking at. You want to be looking at this. You want to be looking at, say, a Disney, which is down even, oh my God, look at Disney. 150s on Thursday and now at 131. This is what I mean, that last